Oh. All right. It's been an interesting week. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Me Time on Oche Kitchen today, Saturday. If for my intro. to the kitchen today it's saturday the 22nd of may um welcome to me time on oche kitchen show i've had a beautiful week for some reason it was quite peaceful this time work was okay social life balanced home life beautiful and thank god we've got today well let's start with you tell us about your groove <laughs> oh my god um thank you everybody for joining us again um sorry i apologize for not, uh, for not being able to um join you guys last weekend like you guys know i was all the way in sunny jamaica i had fun it was so much fun for me um this is my actual this is my third trip to jamaica and this is the first time i went as a tourist as as um, a local also because when i left uh, the resort we drove to um kingston and we drove to Ocho Rios, we drove to Negri and everything. It was like always, Jamaica can never tell me. I have a Jamaican green card, so I can always wow. go back. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get my Jamaican citizenship. Yeah? How? How come? <laughs> Hit me up later and I'll tell you. I will, definitely. <laughs> I, had a, I had a small time. As you can see, I'm all burnt up. Um, I'm still tired from the trip. Got home yesterday. Um. I had fun. I had fun. I had fun. Thank you. Wow. And Definitely yeah. hitting you up. I want to be a Jamaican citizen. <laughs> okay, I'll hook you up. <laughs> I'll hook you up. <laughs> How has it been? My week was fine. While somebody was apologizing for not being here um, during the last show, I was waiting for my personal apology from her. You know, you and me apologized last week and she hasn't apologized to me yet I, and she Ijoma Wapa Ndoku, do apologize to the love of my life Great. for not checking up on her and saying how she was doing <laughs> can I have my love for you <laughs> oh my god okay if you absolutely want to get apologies, you know, on the internet. I mean, and you know, the internet never. So you can embarrass us. Mm. So, <laughs> my week was okay. What did I do? I had, um, lots of stuff to do. On Monday, when I, I went to take my second jab of the vaccine. Okay. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Wednesday, I, yeah, I've gotten that. I mean, at least I've done my part in that regard. Okay, tell us my, more about job in Nigeria. Do you pay for it or is it free? 
No, it's free. Okay, how it's do you free. assess it? Do you have to book an appointment or do you get contacted? What again? Okay, what is free? The it vaccine do? is free in Nigeria. Yes, the vaccine the is The COVID free. Yes. COVID vaccine is free. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? I thought they, surprised. They, offered, they offered as vaccine. Mm. I thought Nigerians so, would be selling it. No, no, no. It's free. And do you get called to take the vaccine free. or you just walk into the center? No, you there's there's a link where you register online, okay? Mm. But even if your registration fails, no, when you get there, no. you update their database your details. One. So after the after taking oh, the wow. job, they took pictures, so awesome. everything in the system. Yeah. And I had my first one at the National Hospital. Wow, so exactly. this, is, this is a highlight for me. Thank you. That's useful and beautiful information. So for those of us who think Nigeria exactly. is not doing it right. Exactly. They haven't even taken the first one. So I'm telling you, oh, I can't go and queue. I don't know. It might be rowdy, but they haven't even tried. Okay. Mm. My very first job was at the National mm -hmm. Hospital. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, that's the number one um, government hospital in Abuja. Oh, but wow. I went by yeah, I went by four Nigeria, Nigeria mm -hmm. factor. Did you get there because you have connection, or was it just you going? No. What I did was, like I said, when the links came out, I registered mm. in a different hospital that is a private hospital. Okay, yeah. but then my husband came back from one from work and said, "Oh, they are giving at National Hospital." I said, "Okay, fine, I'm going." I went in the morning. There was a crowd. So I left. Then okay. by 4 p.m., because I knew they were going to close at 5. By 4 p.m., I called him. I said, I'm heading back there. Are you coming? He said, he's coming. So he came and we went. I mean, there were like three people before me. The moment yeah. I got the job, I called my dad. He says he's at the car park. I said, come now to get your own. Mm. So as we went back to our second job, he has also gotten his. So Okay. The, I, I so can I ask some, so people in um Aba Enugu or uh, local ja, everybody's getting it at, or is this just Abuja? She wouldn't in know. different places and just go to any government um hospital. General hospitals, like I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm impressed. Every government hospital. So I started going on, on Wednesday. Oh, sorry, on Monday. On Wednesday, I took my house help, I took my two kids, and then mm. And um, my security man was was reluctant, so I left him. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. that's, but that's good. I know I'm glad it's free. I thought they would be asking for money for I know that. No, no, no. Even yesterday, I learned that my children's school got a nurse from that same national hospital that came and gave all the staff mm. and the security. I you understand? Yeah. I think these are people that you know that, okay, because of their na the nature of their job, they can't leave the office to go. Yes. So the school opened and they came to give them in the school. That was 5 p.m. yesterday. That's, That's brilliant crazy. news. I, I'm, I'm quite happy to share that news. And I hope people are watching and listening and know that if they want to take the job, please it's share the link to me. In Nigeria if you can share the no link so that cost. we can share it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At no cost. Oh, we've oh, okay. got lots of our friends here. Great. Who would like to tell us? Ah, Luchi, baby. Hello. Putting you on the spot, how has your week been? Uh, good. Uh, great news to hear about that in Nigeria. Oh, my yes, God. Sir. At least I'm a little stress-free. Mm. Amen. That's good. Okay. Um, I think that brings us to the end of me time on Ote Kitchen. If you want to join the me time, come early next time. First 10 minutes, we'll chat with Kelly Chad. I'll chat, chat. Just not just sorry, not just girly chat, just a warm chat to know how we've managed the week. And um, that brings us into today's show, which is building wealth. It's a topic that can spark heated debate. Money. Promote quickie, get rich quick schemes, um, the likes of MMM and all of um, all of them, Bitcoin and all of them or drive people to pursue transactions that might otherwise never consider, they will never consider. Like investing, put, your, put, put one pound and get 40% 40, 40 in two days. Don't mind okay. 
but uh, three simple that okay there are three three simple steps to building a well building world is a misleading concept the simple answer is no but while the basic steps to building wealth are simple to understand they are much more difficult to follow basically they are, um, to accumulate wealth over time you need to do three things correct me if it's wrong make money <laughs> before you can begin to save or invest you need to have a long-term source of income that's sufficient to have and have some left after you've covered your necessities and debt. Two, save money. So the first one is make oh. money. The next one is save money. Lord have mercy. Once you have an income that's, that's enough to cover your basic needs, develop proactive saving plan, Makechi. Yes, sir. Contingencies. I need, I need, I need help with that. <laughs> We'll teach you. <laughs> Listen carefully today and you pick something up. Hallelujah. And the third step is invest money. Once you've set aside a monthly savings goal, invest it prudently. Choose wisely. Invest wisely, like they would say. Below are the suggestions we thought we could share with you guys in case you're thinking of a side hustle to help you grow your wealth. It could be a side hustle to you for you or it could be your main source of income so just for clarity if you have a major job the extra job or extra thing you do to generate income which they call residual income that's what we generally call uh, generally call side hustle side hustle could mean anything you're doing this and you're doing something else but in this case side hustle when we refer to it we're talking about yeah. money making venture okay um, if you're ready to run your own business, consider any of these great business ideas. We've done our research and we've asked questions and they do work. <clears throat> Consultancy. If you're knowledgeable and passionate about a, a specific topic, if it's something you know too well, having that passion, maybe for business, social media, marketing, human resources, leadership, communication, anything, food, anything at all, Starting a consultancy business can be a creative option. You can start your consulting business on your own, then grow your business and hire other consultants over time. This simply is you offering advice and guidance. That's what consultancy is about. Yeah. Whatever it is, it could be about the food we eat, like we have the nutritionist, that beautiful idea there. People, she, the things she do for free, or she does for free, People charge money for it. Yeah. I'm a management consultant and I've given so many ad advices which I haven't charged for. I think that act, if I want to start building my wealth, is start investing wisely. That move to yeah. advise people in different directions, it, it could be business it management, it could be it housing too. management, social housing management, that if I start charging money, I'll be honest with you, I know I have that a bit of income to play with. But at the moment, I'm still doing it for free, but I think I'm considering charging money for it because that's my knowledge and experience. Two, um, I can go through this and you add anything afterwards or unless you have anything to say now. Two is an um, online reseller. Those that are passionate about clothing or other goods may want to consider starting an online reseller business, although it takes a lot of time and dedication and an eye, and an eye for fashion, this is a great idea that you can start as a side hustle and turn into full-time business. You can start by using online store websites like Poshmark, uh, Mikari, Amazon, Alibaba, and the whole, a great a long list of them, even Shane. Um, to sell your wanted clothing, eventually expanding to your own real resale website. This is another growing business or hustle for people. Amazon, there's a huge interest in the Amazon business. I'm using Amazon for the sake of this argument. A lot of people have gone into Amazon, done the training. There are consultants mm -hmm. now. This is where you have consultants who hold shows and seminars, advising you and telling you, holding your hand sometimes, depending on what you pay them on how to start that business. 
So the difference there is you could start that business, but if you haven't consulted or haven't spoken to a consultant or listened to a consultant, you might make mistakes. So consultants are people who sit back, grow the knowledge and help to advise others on how to move on and do things wisely and better. So that's an option. There is another app I saw recently, um, Vinted. You could sell your old clothes. It could be something you've worn or something you haven't even worn before. Put them up there and make money. And make money. Um, I know I know a lot of us have um, things to say about this online selling. And again, I'll give an example with Primark. Primark is a clothing shop here. I know they have it in Boston at the moment. Um, they do not have an online shop. They sell in the shop. They sell just in their shop. And during the pandemic, they were badly hit. They could not sell. But people who had online shops sold better and were always in, mar in the market. So, but the concession they had was after the first, during the first lockdown, they were allowed to open their shop 24 hours to recoup. Yes. Cool. They're a fantastic <laughs> shop. People's choice. A lot of people go to Primark all over the world. Um, You've taken me But they had that right? problem. They had that problem of not having an online shop. So, as an individual, there is, a there, there is no limit to what you could put online, provided you do things responsibly and know that you're straightforward. Without a doubt, all of this has got its risk. Online selling, you can be sold rubbish because you don't know where they are. If you're lucky, they will get in touch with you. If you're not, that's it for you. Okay. Talking about online teaching, I think everything is out online, online. Without um, saying much, we know why online is the booming platform for anything. When the doors are shut, computers are open, phones are open, tablets are open, everybody's shopping online. So at that time we sit and say, I don't, I'm not doing anything. I can't afford to do anything. I'm still looking for a job. We could think of all of these ideas. This list will be posted on our website, please. Go back to your kitchen website and steal these ideas. Keep them and consult people who would help you work your business. So for online teaching, the demand for online education has opened up a, wild, a wide possibility for entrepreneurs to start their own entrepreneurship. And when we're talking about online teaching, it's not just the formal education where they teach you to be a doctor, a nurse, and every other thing you could be. We're talking about that, or rather this includes teaching you how to sew. I've come across a lot of online classes. Free, some of them are free on coding, on tailoring, DIY, all sorts. So if you know it's something you're good at, online platform is free for you. That's an open shop for everybody. You're not paying anything. Instead, if you do it very well, you earn money for doing it there. You'll be surprised, you get paid for making money and someone is paying you for using their platform. The likes of Facebook, YouTube, and all of them. So people make money there for running their own business. Isn't that great? Can I, can I add to uh, what the online teaching thing? I know a lot of people, um, people in Asia, like Dubai, you know, um, Thai, you know, Japan and everything, they pay people to teach Hello. Their English. Hi, um, they, um, how is it? How is it? They pay people to teach their, their kids um, English because English is like a second language to them. So a lot of people make money teaching non-English kids English. Mm. Yeah, so. Mm. And that same There's goes to uh, for Igbo classes. We've got uh, one of our lovely friends and uh, one of our Ocho Kitchen followers as well. She does online Igbo classes as well. So they do all, all languages, all sorts could be learned, the good and the bad ones. They will not go to the bad ones, but all of them is online teaching. Okay, <laughs> online bookkeeping. There are businesses who need support and they don't necessarily need to take you into the office, they may not have an office, but you could work from home. Help them put their books together. Their books could be accounting books or everything, administrative documents, anything to help them run their business. It's an, in high demand. Actually, I've just been hired by someone to do his online bookkeeping. Yes, that's a side also. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. bring me yeah. a new startup business. So um, I've been hired as a secretary. So I've got that income. So if you see me buying McDonald's more than I used to buy, you know that I've got a tiny oh gosh, hustle on the, on the other side. <laughs> Amongst so many other things, legit, legal or legitimate things that I do. <laughs> That's I cool. hand over to OJ <laughs> to tell us more. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Ifi. So um, the other thing that you could consider is medical career service. If you have a reliable vehicle and good time management skills, you may want to consider creating your own career service, more specifically a medical career service. As a driver, you're responsible for transporting medical items like lab specimen, prescription drugs, and equipment. The healthcare industry is expanding, which is great for medical career service job stability. You could start your career business on your own or hire other drivers to work for you. And this is something that is really thriving in Nigeria. I don't know about the medical aspect, but a lot of people are having these part riders. You know, you, you can buy something from Lagos and the moment you pay, in two, three days, you're going to get it right at your doorstep. Oh, it takes that long? I, I thought it was like 20, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah, people now have um, personal dispatch riders. They'll tell you, oh, my dispatch doesn't work on Sundays. Can I bring it to you on Monday? Gotcha. You know, and it's really thriving. And the beauty of it is that it's not expensive. So if somebody has the money, you can consider either doing this for yourself or like this place says, you can get someone to do it on your behalf. So when, mm -hmm. since this one is talking about the medical aspect, I'm sure it will involve going to, um, going to partnership with a hospital or something. But mm. I think it's an idea to explore. And I think somebody like Ben Ben, my guy, would like to hear this kind of thing. Oh, just okay. adding to the medical yeah. aspect, in UK here, there are, uh, there are agencies of people that take up that role of dispatching medication. So they work okay. alongside pharmacies. So those people that have regular prescription that I pick up from the pharmacy, they register on that website and mm -hmm. get it delivered to them again. There's a question of credibility. They have to trust the person that handing your medication to and all that. That is awesome. Yeah, but we, we, we are not um, as internet savvy as people think. The, the highest, the average Nigerian they does is one star. You understand? So we might not be able to go and register in these websites, but believe you me, if you can just get a ride, or a rider and with a bike, you're good to go as long mm. as this kind of um, is involved. Okay, so we have um, the option of app developer. If you are knowledgeable and experienced in technology, you may want to consider a career in app development. Smartphones have become an everyday accessory for many Americans, which has increased demand for mobile apps. Similarly, <laughs> virtual reality software has become popular in recent years. So there is also a demand for VR app development. And it's not just about the Americans. If you have a business that is thriving and it is growing and you just want to have more reach, if you can, it would be nice to have a website because once people can actually log on and see what you're doing, that's why a lot of young people these days are on, on Instagram. When that app was created, it was more of a show off, but now Instagram is more of a business place. Yes, mm -hmm. and I noticed that it, like, I, my, my children buy things on Instagram, you know. And I, I used to ask them, How do you cope? How, how is it that you're able to determine that you're not going to be frauded? Okay, and my daughter says, There are things that you consider, for example, somebody who takes their time to sponsor an advert on Instagram is legit. Because to be able to sponsor an advert, your card details would go in, you know. And then when they give you and anybody to whose business is registered, she said sometimes when she wants to buy, that she's always skeptical about people that give her personal account numbers. Because anybody who has registered his or her business, you know, would go to get a bank account in that business name and wouldn't want to mess things up. So on Instagram, you notice that a lot of people are doing things on their own. So if you have a website, it's an added advantage. So being an app developer gives you another stream of income. Then we have the transcription service. If you have a good ear and you can type quickly, a transcription service is a good business. If you, I know you do well in this one. Okay. It allows you to work from home. <laughs> 
it allows you to work from home and you have a flexible schedule. And um, another branch too that is really interesting is the medical one. It is needed as voice recognition technology. And um, you know, when in, in the area of health healthcare, if you're not looking to start at once, you can have a day job that you'll be able to time and you can accept as many as you can to boost, boost your business prospects and justify charging more. You should consider becoming certified, okay? So once you say, oh, I can do transcription for you and, and then you, you chip in that you have this qualification, someone would definitely want to work with you. And you have the translation service. And um, the translation service industry saw a decline in 2020. Of course, many industries also suffered that decline, but it is projected to rebound nicely in this 2021. And this projected growth isn't surprising because that connection problem. Mm. Oja, do you know one of the reasons for the decline? Google, people tend to go to Google to translate for them. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, Google Translate is I'm on the internet, so I wouldn't want to use a word. But you, you and I know that Google Translate is not always accurate. Okay. <laughs> and do you know this animal in the shooting in service? In, we all know uh, about it, animal it, in the shooting <laughs> eating grass. Mm -hmm. Animal in the shooting eating grass. Oh, oh, and the pepper tree. Yeah, my mom is a translator. Mm -hmm. My mom is a translator, and, I, and as for as long as I, I can remember, she has made so much money translating. Right from Languages. when I was younger. What does she translate to? French. She's a French teacher. French. So now she she came together with somebody, a medical doctor, and they have a French Igbo English dictionary. Mm. Oh wow! And then, and it's a medical dictionary. Yes, it's a medical um, Igbo French dictionary. Wow! And it has gotten her the kind of exposure it gives her. Each time they say, "Okay, can I have somebody?" Some people bring up things as small as soap. The way people, everybody now is into soap making. I mm. remember back then when people want to do like that they bring to her they write in english she translates for them initially she was just doing it for free but eventually she started like charging me. money mm, when the work when the work became too much for her she started charging until tomorrow she still translates can i ask you something so, how, how how did she come about the money like how much to take because that's a problem that is something i struggle with yeah, you know, she, she, consult me, consult me, and I'll talk to you about planning your yeah. Exactly. Yeah, consult me on that one. We used to laugh at her. We normally laugh at her and tell her she's not a businesswoman because I mean, if I tell her now that I wants to translate something, she won't take money from her. That's me. Do you understand? <laughs> she still considers friends and family, and mm -hmm. then sometimes she will say, eh, "This person is a student, so okay, whatever you have." It's only that like I, there was a time Nigerian breweries called her, okay? They had um, some people, I think they were expatriates or so, and nobody could understand what they were saying. Every day when my mom closes for work, she goes to Nigerian breweries between 5 and 7 p.m. to translate documents, to translate whatever those uh, management officials were saying to the staff. That was right. the time I can say that she made mega book, you know, okay. because I mean, that wasn't, an individual that was a company, a mm. company corporation. So, yeah, talking about translation, OJ, so do you know what? Yeah, I just recalled now, remembered while I worked for Guinness Partnership, is a housing station, one of the biggest housing stations in the UK. I translated mm -hmm. an information in Igbo from English to Igbo. You know, when the, yes, and nobody paid me extra for that. Maybe I'll go back and ask. Actually, they got me a voucher <laughs> 20 pounds voucher from Waitrose. Imagine. But it's okay. They'll come again. So yeah, I have, now yeah, no, 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 no. Information, yeah. So Tell I've done, them you've to your lawyer. I will. <laughs> your lawyer says it's not acceptable. 
you know the funny thing is that you know the funny thing is that if only four months say that think... and they'll send her back to her hiring um what is that called? and it's you know everything is written in, in in small letters that we don't even read that you can do that because exactly. they'll say you have, you have we can end. ask you to do things other, other than what yes they always put that clause mm. okay okay, okay. I'm sorry mm -hmm. okay to the next one which is home care service you know that home care service is not the same as when you had a house set okay mm. so if you have a background in care and hospitality years who require in-home care some of us have aging parents and we go and bring them from the village from wherever they may stay in to come stay with us but because of the nature of our jobs and all that we don't even give them the mm -hmm. kind of care they need okay and this is not also the kind of care that your average house help can give so if somebody takes a course to know how to handle these people give them their drugs at the proper time make sure that they eat well because it's not enough to just leave their food and say okay mommy when it is one o'clock or when you're hungry eat so if you don't need um much background in healthcare to be able to help these seniors and grow a successful business at the same time because now we're looking not at the money seniors, monetizing yeah. almost everything disabled people as well people that need extra care They're not, not Sorry, just seniors it could be young people it could be young people with um oh yeah Disability. Yeah. disability oh yeah mm. okay if you if you just have them um, sympathy and empathy as well you can actually make money out, out of such things even if you're not going to charge exorbitantly you can present yourself and say okay you have this person I, I can take care of him for you and you agree on a price you're already in business and before you know it you might be recruiting people to go and be checking your other branches Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if Nanya, I'm giving you a business idea, if you have people now, you can send me to go and check on them. And I then... will. Look. <laughs> OJ, OJ, I know that what you've just described is very, it's very common where we are, where I am. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How does it work in Nigeria? It's, um, I've heard, I haven't really seen, we don't have much of this. Mm. Okay. It's still, people are still dependent on family. But for me, this is even an idea I would like to explore. If it's mm. something I can establish, that, like um, it was when, I don't know if you guys, a mom, you should know him, you know, the people's lawyer. He, his mom was um, a high court judge before she died. She was here in Abuja. Mm. And um, our families are people. Last time my dad came to Abuja before she died, my dad called the son and said, I wanted to go and I want to go and see her. He said, Oh, she's not, she's been taken to an old people's home. And it is somewhere in the outskirts of Abuja. I don't have details. Mm. You know, but it's not something that people know. It's not something that people know. And for all you know, it could even be their own private arrangement. So if people, if if such homes they they can establish them maybe one or two <clears throat> in towns and cities like that. It's another kind of business because that's another thing that you really don't need um, much background in healthcare to be able to pull off. And that takes me to my last point, digital marketing. So the importance of the internet goes with every passing day, making it harder all the time for businesses to cut through the clutter and properly market themselves. Digital marketing services are always in demand and many small and mid-sized companies would rather outsource it than establish company in-house team. We've got shops in SEO, content marketing, pay-per-click, web development, or social media management. You could have a business opportunity that allows you the freedom to work from home. I know that a lot of business people have people managing their social media handles. Mm. They are the ones Possible yeah, to we'll add, when you see most <laughs> exactly when you see most business pages, you know, thriving, just know that somebody has dedicated time and money and say, Okay, you handle my social, and most times it turns out well because this person knows I'm being paid to make sure that this page is growing, to make sure that this page is lively and all that. 
no, at the end of the day, two people are benefiting. The person handling your social media page and you yourself, whose business they are trying to protect. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're talking so, about online marketing as well. Marketing yeah. Mm. Affiliate marketing. Um, affiliate marketing is uh, it's um, a type of marketing, online marketing, where established online marketers they don't mm -hmm. force you. They don't recruit you. You opt to if you opt in. Okay, they may do some sort of recru recruitment on agreement that if you use their link to share, if you share their link, which is a form of advertising their product, for them, yeah. yes, you get 10% for every sell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there's this company that did it for, I know they're still there. They do it for online, for flight tickets as well. Mm -hmm. There's one I just came across. I love, I love internet. I'll go to internet for the good reasons. I like scouting. Are you things. sure? Yes. Recently, we didn't have to go there. We know that you go for good reasons. You see what deals good or bad reasons? Good, okay. good or bad reasons. I became an affiliate, became an affiliate of, for this company, Search, Search Find Online. I saw beautiful things, lovely things. But why I am not, why you haven't heard about it, I haven't shared the links with you guys, is because I want to place an order, try their product, and make sure. Because I like whatever I do. I want it to be of good quality, something I can boost authentic. I don't want I don't like spoiling my own name. So I'll try mm -hmm. I'll try their product, then I'll start sharing the links. But I'm an affiliate with them and I'm quite excited. If it wouldn't cost me anything, go online with my phone, pick up that link. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So Affiliate marketing is a part of online marketing as well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to come to that, actually, right? Because I was going to say that digital marketing is an important part of the brand. So it is critical for you to respond to developments in your client's marketing strategies. Social media management entails watching for comments and messages around the clock, not just to schedule posts in a sit and forget mindset. If you enjoy strategizing and implementing plans meticulously, digital marketing could be the right business for you. You may also consider becoming an affiliate marketer, another form of digital marketing. That is where you come in, Mama. So having said that, at the end of the day, it is how you want your business, mm. how you project your business, how people would see it. If you don't take your business, if you don't mean business, then nobody is going to mean your business for you. That's a, that's okay. what that's 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 a good I am one. Over to you. All right. Um. Fun, funny enough is that I've tried to do these things almost um all of them for one or two people, <laughs> and I never charge money. I never make money. Yet. That's why you know somebody told me I have um fear of progress or whatever. I don't know what she means. Okay. Anyway, um. Moving on to the small business ideas, the next one is the yeah, the next one is the graphic designer. So corporations, small businesses, and sole proprietors all need eye-catching promotional materials, but not nearly everybody has an eye for what looks good. So if you've got an artistic streak and know how to organize content into a visually pleasing format, you can start a graphic design business to provide flyers, digital ads, posters, and other engaging visual materials. Graphic design also has the benefit of requiring few physical tools beyond a laptop and a desk. Yeah, I'll say that because I do a lot of flyers and I use um, an app called um, Canva. There are mm -hmm. so many apps. There are so many different apps. There are so many programs you can use. But um, I think graphic designer, if you can find a company that will pay you to make um, flyers for them, please call me. I want to do that. Then the next one is T-shirt <laughs> printing business. Like I said, I printed this, I've done a lot of t-shirts, you know, I made a little bit of money, but like I said, I don't know how to ask for money. Um, so I think I'll be better off doing things online anonymously so that nobody knows it's me. So I can just say, if I'm gonna buy this t-shirt, it looks good, then you guys keep buying. So the t-shirt printing business, just like with graphic design, you might enjoy launching a t-shirt printing business if you've got a sharp artistic sense, or maybe you just enjoy taking someone else's visual and screen printing them onto black shirt. Either way, if you have space for a t-shirt printing setup, which I have, um, you can easily get the necessary tools and start your small business. You can do um, iron-on t-shirts if you can invest on the t-shirt machine, which I have here. There's a t-shirt machine, there's a screen printing machine. 
Um, there, there are so many ways you can uh, print a shirt. So the easiest way is the iron on, the one you print on paper and use an iron tool, like the one I have here is paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the next one is the food truck. With indoor dining limited in many locations right now, aspiring restaurateurs might find more success with a food truck. Food trucks come in all shapes and sizes, serving up a wide range of snacks and cuisines. Take your favorite style of food on the road and sell your uh, culinary passions directly to hungry customers. Sure, you'll be working, but you'll be in a space you're passionate about with a chance to connect to people who have similar interests. Food trucks might sound like a wild idea, but the industry is growing. The overhead and upkeep of a truck costs significantly less than owning a restaurant and you have the added benefits of mobility people who have been in new york knows there's like food trucks once you once you're in manhattan you know you'll be eating on the streets while you're walking around so there's um food truck is going to be now marijuana is being um legalized in many states now that's what i'm hearing the marijuana truck you know people be selling like the gummies the the cakes and everything so it's a it's a type of way for you to make money I'm interested in that. And EJ, then, uh, talking about uh, EJ, talking about the food truck um, yeah. along the same line, mm -hmm. another very common business within the UK now is delivery, yeah. food delivery for smaller shops, not even yeah, DoorDash and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you register with them. You can register through Uber Eat or Just Eat. DoorDash. But again, Do yeah. DoorDash. Yeah. People go directly to those restaurants as well because mm -hmm. you know when you register with these other agents. Mm -hmm. They have a cut in what you make. But yeah. when you negotiate directly with the shop, you can only they can always call you on to, um, to do their delivery. Yeah, Benson the, does that. I don't know if Benson Benson, do you want to say something about that? You're still online with us. It's online, but I okay. I know Benson um keeps um going and coming. Yeah. I know DoorDash. Um when you buy like okay, like Okay, one day I told my kids to order Dunkin' Donuts for me. Dunkin' Donuts is a two-minute walk from my house. They said seven dollars to deliver. You know what I mean? So I think that seven dollar delivery um goes to the driver who goes to pick it up and deliver. So they make a lot of money. So if you end up delivering, like I, I heard some people make like two, three hundred dollars a day, depending on the time they put in. If you put, if you do it full time, you make more money. So yeah, it's yeah, you're right. It's good. Then um, the last is the real uh, real estate agent. For many people, navigating the housing market is overwhelming. As a real estate agent, you can help people find the home of their dreams at a price that fits their budget. In many states in the US, you simply need to complete a few months of classes and pass, and pass an exam to qualify as a real estate agent. And in some countries, no exams required. Even with, even with the certification, you get nowhere without basic people skills. So if you're not a people person, this might not be the route for you. And here's to your small business with much love from um, Ocha Kitchen. So um, like in Nigeria, you don't have to, do you have to go for a course to be a real estate agent? There's money because when you, I know when you sell a house, you get money from, like some people get money from both parties, from the buyer and from the seller. I know, I know so many real estate um, who have sprung up in the last one year in Nigeria. Most of them are friends. I know they didn't go for any classes and they have degrees in different backgrounds, but they are real estate agents. They yeah. sell land. Yeah, there are just, people who study estate management. Estate management. Yeah. There are people who study estate mm. management. Yeah. But uh, yeah, does that does that qualify you to sell? And they, somehow they carry it on their head. <laughs> you know, some people are some people are third party um third party agents. Friend I know Ifoma. I know Ifoma is an agent, right? Then mm -hmm. um, like Oja says, I'm looking for a house. I'll tell you, Farmer. I ask the Farmer, do you have houses in in like Abuja, Lagos? If Farmer says yes, and I go back to Oja, I say, oh, I have a property. But meanwhile, if Farmer is the main agent, um, and the third party, do I make sense? Mm. Uber like, or something. Yeah. Just like the Amazon, um, uh, just like the Amazon business, the adverts online telling you how to train, how to be a fantastic Amazon seller. Um, the same thing goes with property management and um, not property management, property management. Yeah, it's all part yes, of it. Yeah. Doing rent to rent. There's so many schemes within the pro property industry people could mm. do, depending on your location. But I think it could thrive anywhere. It could thrive anywhere. You could do it in Nigeria, you could do it in UK, US, anywhere you are. Um, the, the rent to rent scheme, obviously, basically is you rent a property from a landlord. 
may, let's say for the sake of argument, for 1,000 pounds, and you rent it to another family, you're not living there, but the tenancy is in your name, you rent it out to another person. Like an Airbnb, Airbnb or just rent? It could be used as a Airbnb, rental. depending on... Yeah, depending on what the agreement is, if the landlord agrees that you could do more house of multiple occupancy, like maybe in a three bedroom or five bedroom house, you, you rent out in rooms. So these are all business ideas. But again, like I would always say, and I like always look at both sides of the coin. There are risks in all of this. You will lose money in any of this. You will lose your reputation if you're not, if you don't know what you're doing. And the person employing or the person engaging with, you again thinks about their own business and again is this person trustworthy to work with is this person a murderer is this person a kidnapper with what's trending everywhere now because and it's especially for the home care business OJ if you hire the wrong person to look after your elderly mother a disabled person that's the worst thing you've done in your life so that's why they do a lot but of. But you know the funny thing, family members, family members still abuse the elderly. Oh, definitely. The people, yeah. They do. Well, so abuse criminal, can criminal come checks. from. Yeah, yeah. The abuse, abuse can come from you know, inside or outside. Yeah. And again, another downside to most of this self-run businesses is people do not trust individuals. They like they rather you are tied to a company mm -hmm. that will help you. So you have to really. Prove yourself so that somebody could allow you or the world would allow you to engage with them and run any form of business. Even the food delivery, there are some ugly video clips that we've seen on social media where people will bring, take food, <laughs> eat it, bite into that meat food or spit into that food, close it and, and deliver. God forbid, I just don't want, I just want something that I, I convince myself that it's just a prank, that that person did not do it. But I know there are very crazy people out there. I will do it. Um, we would like to hear from the audience, anyone that has any ideas to share, uh, <clears throat> that would be nice. Business ideas, what people could do to make money, either going out there or sitting in their homes. Or what Please. you have done that have, have worked for you. Right, right my, my dears. Uh, Hi, Uncle. You, you missed, there's one uh, important one you missed out. That's network marketing. Okay. Network marketing. Mm. Right now, I I am into one, and if anybody is interested, it's it's just it's, it's a marvelous one. Mm. Uh, this the the company is called Neo Life. They 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 do something about healthy living, and they they will produce their own. They manufacture their own products, real, real, organic, uh, you know. Mm. So and 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 the way you make money is first and foremost you use their products, see how the products are are I mean work. Then you mm -hmm. you 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 introduce it to 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 friends and families, and gradually, gradually. You will start to build up, you know, mm. and uh, and once you use their product, you 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 just you you will be so happy about it because it brings back your good health. If you are having a joint pain, if you are having arthritis, if you are having cancer, if you you know it, it just goes. They 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 do so many things that. that uh, I mean, cures uh, or uh, get rid of of all those things. You know, keep 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 the body in in a state of, I mean, neutrality. You know, so um, so so that's a great one. That's Daddy, do you know? Do you know that network marketing is Ibo Ibo here? Sorry, you got, what, you got it's Ibo here in Ibo. That's um, I don't know how they call it in right. English. Run, running for market. <laughs> what, it means, yeah. what it means is uh, you go to people's shop, pick their products, and advertise for OJ. You're laughing. That's no, but uh, I thought, no, I thought no, network. No, I thought network no. marketing means if I if I bring you, you bring two people. Those two people no, bring two people. Two people. That okay. That, that, is, that is the structure. 
what it means is helping you helping them, a company sell their business sell their my products um, so let's forget how, who, how many people you get but all of us that come in that chain are doing one thing helping you sell saving you that cost of advert advertising advertising your product yes and 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 also helping people as well it's 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 not just the, the, the sales. sales itself. It's, it's helping people to get cured. Good to, life. To, exactly. To mm. be healthy. Uh, that's, that's, mm. that's the good thing about it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so... Yeah. Sorry, I, I, I am so ha happy with the company. Mm. Yeah, Ihu, are, are you there? Thank you. Yes, I Ihu, am. Ihu is my friend. Ihu has been in, with this company, FM. FM, yeah. and she's doing fantastically well over the years. I buy perfumes from her as well. Ihu, do you want to tell us a bit about that business? What are the challenges and how easily can anyone do it? Ihu works full-time as a big boss somewhere else, but FM uh, yeah. is a side hustle. <laughs> Talk to us. Before, Welcome to the show, Ihu. Hi, everyone. Um, hi. I'm in Homba and uh, anyway, like if I said, I do full time. I work as a regulatory um, officer in a production company. So I do FM part time. I started since 2017. Mm. Sorry, um, my dressing. So <laughs> that's why I'm off video. <laughs> that's fine. You so, but that's picture. been the picture anyway. So anyway, yeah. I started FM 2017. It's just, it's free to join. Like Paul said, they also have um, weight management bits and healthy stuff. Um, they are major, they actually started with perfumes. So what they do is, um, you know, like all these designers perfumes, although people say that it's copied, if I lay man, they say that it's copied, not, not exactly. Like fake, fake perfume. Yeah, but not really. It's not fake per se. Because what happened is that they all, both the high street and FM, they <clears throat> all buy the essential oil from the same company. So what now happened is that each company now go and dilute it the way they want. Oh, okay. And so, but FM, what they do, what they do, um, what it does is that instead of making the bot uh, the perfume expensive, they decided to make the bottles simple. They cut off all these um, celebrities. You know, it's celebrities. The extra they logistics. Indulge, mm. They mm. indulge the perfumes and logistics. So those are the things that make perfumes expensive. But right, the per perfumes are not supposed to be expensive. So they do per perfumes, cosmetics as well, um, household cleaning products, um supplements so they are into quite a lot like so, so yeah ew, ew, what is the earning what is the earning plan there what could attract anybody to do that business if you sell one perfume what percentage do you get because i've done i've done both avon and um Mary Mary Kay. Kay. i don't see how yeah. i don't know how to make money I'm, with those I'm things actually, I've, I've done avon as well but fm the the margin of the are you far from your uh, microphone? Yeah. Because you're losing you your sound yeah, we can't hear her. Ihoma, we can't hear you, please. You sound faint. Can you come closer to your Sorry. microphone? Is it better now? Nope. Shout. <laughs> <laughs> now we can hear you. Okay, now you can hear me. Okay. I actually started with Evon, but FM is a lot better. The if I sell one perfume, um I make like over 100%, uh, sorry. Wow. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. If they, and FM, they are always make, uh, doing sales, they're always doing promotions. So when they do promotions, it also affects the margins, your profits, when they do it. But when they don't, if you sell the, right, the real price and also consider your shipping, your delivery. And again, most times we don't really sell catalog price. It depends on who is selling. So there's a lot in FM compared to Evan and um, even um, Mary Kay. Mm. Because we'll have lots of Mary Kay um, reps that are in FM, that are also doing FM. They mm. say that FM is a lot better, yeah. Really, 100%? Yep. Sometimes, How do I join? Yeah. How do I join? 
It's free. I'll just share the link. <laughs> okay, I'll come to you. I'll talk to you about it later. Okay. It's it been nice to wear the perfume. Yeah, it's, it's free to join. The only thing is that you pay for what you buy, and mind you, that you are buying at wholesale price. You are mm. going. You are benefiting two ways. You know, um, because you are buying wholesale. If you buy um, all their products are point based. So if you make up to 300, which one of the perfumes, some, uh, one of the perfumes can give you like 200 plus. So if you make up to 300 points, you start earning um, commission. And the more money, uh, sorry, the more people you have under you, the more, uh, and they, they have to be active anyway the more money and uh, the more See, that's, where, that's where I don't like all this network marketing yeah, having it's not both, depending on people that have been active or not no, you no, that, yeah, that, that you're yeah, selling but, you're making money yeah, from products it. you have to sell but if you don't want to sell you can just buy it for the things you use at home because you, you use uh, washing up liquid you use um, you need supplements You mm. before you go to toilet as in your bathroom take your shower come out skin cares if you use all those things you are, you are buying a wholesale price and also FM is paying you back some uh, money back. Wow. So yeah, I've, seen, I've, seen people, I've seen people who use their money to just stock up products at home. No, That's... I don't encourage that either. I don't so encourage they can people make... to stock up. What you do is, if you are buying, if you want to, like when they are doing sales or if you want to buy, buy for the things you use at home. Mm. You can use that to market. Tell people how the product is like, you know? Mm. Because you've used it, it's one you're using at home. Don't stock up because some people end up stock, and when they stock up, they end up not selling. Mm -hmm. And that's why they start oh, it expires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. another question for you, Ihu. This business now, during the lockdown, how did you manage? How did you advertise your product? Funny enough, yeah, how did I advertise? I use WhatsApp and Facebook. Okay. But funny enough, you know, people like us, as in me, we are here feeling bad for people losing their jobs and all that some other people we are making it there's mm. a lady in nigeria uh, sorry from nigeria she's here in birmingham she just joined at the peak of that lockdown in uk last year as we speak now she's at the verge of earning um a car qualifying for a car mm. so but you know so, have it, you gotten a car from america america no, because I haven't worked extra hard to get that. To be honest, I don't want to, don't take me there. But I've always been, I've, I've been a Mary Kay consultant since 2005. Over 15, 15 years. Over 15. 2005. <laughs> I I'm probably a Mary Kay consultant, but I'm doing it at my own pace. Yeah. Pamela, own pace. Pamela is here too. Pamela is a Mary Kay consultant. I remember she registered me. I didn't even do well with it. Wow. Yeah. And wow. she registered me with her own money. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Pam pam. I apologize. You, you need to go back and make money on that. Oh Lord Jesus. I thought I thought she was on mute. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I think because somebody registered me, one of my directors from the States, um, Sister Dora Tibe, when she came and registered me, they said she saw me that was backsliding. She registered me, so and I said to myself, I will not waste her money. That's why I've just been keeping myself on the platform. It's equally nice. Again, oh, I feel so bad. Feel what so we're good. talking about today is, yeah, you should be feeling really really bad. Me. What we're talking about today is side hustle, businesses we could do to help us grow our wealth. We're making yeah. the money, we're keeping the money, and we're investing the money. And Ben, 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 we called you earlier to tell us how you're finding your side hustle. What do you do? We know you have your everyday job. What's your side hustle? So we can uh, use that brain. I have this, uh, I have these delivery apps. Um, Sometimes when I feel like maybe I need extra money to do something, I'll just on my app. I have the DoorDash app. I have the DoorDash app. I have the Postmates. Then I have one that is with uh, Walmart. But that one, sometimes they want to take me too far, maybe taking me out of New York to places like New Jersey, to bring mm -hmm. to bring things, but I sometimes I don't I don't like taking those ones. But for my door dash, the days I want to do my door dash, if I maybe if I start something like um 3 p.m. to around 6 p.m., I make almost a hundred and hundred and something dollars. Mm. Wow. Yes. Yeah. 
I make almost hundred and something dollars. So and they pay they, they 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 pay out every week. But if you want your payout instant, they will take a commission of I think it's less than and I think nineteen one dollar something. That's what they will take. Then they will pay you the same day. So like I, the, the the delivery stuff is, I think it's doing so good because one, when I think I need extra money to do extra things, I, I'll just on my app. Immediately I'm on the app, I keep getting the deliveries. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, and, so, and, and sometimes like, uh, like, like we say side hustles, there are so many side hustles most times I do depending mm -hmm. on depending on because the first place I work made me to get in contact with people. So sometimes people will come around and say, ah, they're looking for somebody to do something like this. And sometimes you would not believe it that uh, I built somebody's, you know, this rubber gate they have in America here. Somebody went to consult people to contact people, con contract people to do that. I think they were billing them that family almost Fifteen hundred dollars to do that, but I did that job for just seven hundred dollars. All I all I did all I did was go through that uh, the, the, manual. The, the manual they placed inside it, how to couple it, what and what I needed to couple that with. I just went ahead, told the family to go and buy those things. And immediately they bought those things. I went there. I hired somebody. I hired uh, two other people so that I would be fast. Told them what to do. We dug the ground, brought the four by four wood, put in in between the pipe. I screwed it. Yeah. Before you know it, within three four hours, we are done with the job and we are paid. And uh, I get, I shared the money equally. I don't want I don't want to behave as if I. That's I okay. Was, all right. Was the Thank you, Ben Ben. Let's hear from one more viewer before we end. Um, Adibeli, you you wrote something on the chat that you um cater food on, on, on the weekend. Can you share with us? Like what's your profit you margin? Put the two pieces from there. Adibeli, are you here? I'm Adibeli. here, I'm here. I can you hear yeah, me. Can you tell us me? briefly? Can you tell us briefly how you pick it and like the profit margin? You know, you, you don't have to tell us yeah. exactly. Okay. So, well, I cook weekends, you know, because I do catering and, you know, traditional food like Onubu and the rest of them. I cook for bachelors. I cook for it. I cook for bachelors. So, um, they order the kula, you know, what they, it depends on the size they want. So, like today, I was paid, um, I was paid 250 pounds wow. to do the, just that one with swallow. Mm. So, at one, the end of the day, one, is it one kula of soup? Or? No, no, no. So what I do, I charge, I charge half a cola. Half a cola I charge for with pandemic, I charge for 120, right? Wow. wow. Yeah, then one cola of Onubo is is you know, you're talking around um 180 because you know you have to buy the ingredients and the rest of them. Then they wanted that and they wanted assorted meat as well, half cola. So half cola of an assorted meat. Anyway, you're confusing me. A cola, a cola that I know it's this big. Are you talking about yeah. a cola or like pot? I know no, no, no. the big cooler. A cooler. You see no, that cooler? The big cooler, cooler like bachelor. takes three pounds. Yes, you know the, the, the normal cooler you know. The normal cooler you know. Half of it. Okay. That half. big cooler. That big cooler is around 180 pounds. Okay. So half of yeah? it. Okay. Then, so half of it is what they ordered for 30 people. So oh, I did. oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So I did it for 120 because they wanted to swallow with it. 30 yeah. pieces. Wow. Mm. So, and they wanted a sorted meat. So a cooler, that normal cooler, you know, of a sorted meat is yeah. 150 pounds. So half oh. a cooler is 75 pounds. Okay. So by the time I bought everything and they, the boy, I charged them 250. So my gain there was around 95 pounds, you know, tax-free. That's yeah, what that's I got beautiful. to, that's of the profit. Yeah. I, I have so, your number and I'll be referring people to you. I'll check yeah. availability because I know you have a day job as well. So yeah, I work time. Monday to Friday. So I don't yeah. charge much, you know, unlike other caterers, you know, just to get them to come a, 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 bit, a little bit closer. Because mm. this is not this is not something I do all the time. So mm. in a month, I can have it twice. So my dear, at least I got 95 pounds tax-free, which which solved, you know, solved some little issues. It solved some house, issues before. Another house, Adibeli. You, 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 can, can, you, can, you, said you, you are charging um, low at the moment because you want to 
bring them closer. Does it mean you're going to kill them with high cost later? No, no, it's no, not no, high cost. Then she can she can be on the same level with other regular. Once she gets her customer ba base, yeah. then she can charge the same thing. Yeah, like here, it's a full of rice. Mm. A mm. lot of rice will uh, share into three big pans. And mm. normally before COVID, it used to be um, jollof rice was, I think, one, 120 to 150, depending on the caterer. Just rice in mm. there. There's Just no rice, meat. no meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they make money in it. Th I, thinking I fast. Much. Yeah, thinking fast, Adi. Another mm -hmm. person can build a side hustle at the back of Adibeli's business. When you do the cooking, because you're too tired to deliver, you can yeah. call me. Give me 20 pounds and I'll drive the food to the location. No, that's fine. If I'm, I think I have one for uh, for Saturday. So I'm, I'm coming to it. deliver. No, that's I'm fine. I'm coming to deliver. No, no problem. If you're coming, I'll pay you 20 pounds. That's fine. Because I'm not doing anything at home by that time. So it'd be nice to go and pick up. No, 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 no. That's fine. I'll take another aspect of the business of getting clients. And yes. I'll be for each client I do. If you deliver to my end. I will, I will. <laughs> You not know, with 20 I go, pounds, I go up to your end to, to party. I go clubbing in your end. So why would I not deliver food and get paid? <laughs> okay. You see? So that's great in the site also, at, at the back of another site also. Um, we'll be, but that's I affiliate, think, that's affiliate market, the same thing. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. that's what affiliate, yeah. So oh, wow. I think we're coming to the end of the show today. Um, Wabs, we're not having over time today, are we? Nope. If people Are want you? to hang out, yeah. If people want to hang out, I'll hang. Yeah. Okay. Um. Next week we'll be talking. It's it's you can't stop us two weeks in a row. <laughs> two weeks in a row. <laughs> we'll talk. Don't worry. You will have it. We'll have no over time. We'll have no over time. Sit back. Sit back. Okay. Okay. Um, next week it's um. Chizo, you like to hear this, Doctor Chizo? No smoking. I know you smoke. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> or you start smoking, rather. No smoking day next week. So we're going to talk about smoking, even though the, since they've started that campaign from research, there's been more people that that's taken to smoking. Yeah, well, because more people grow up now. More teenagers come up, they try things, and you know, the so, older ones die, the younger ones keep it up. So we'll find out, we'll find out next week if running that campaign about non -small smoking, if it's, no a or if it's a motivator for people like me, OJ, to start thinking along that line of smoking. Oh, well, you can't only OJ, does it mean other people smoke? <laughs> and I will find out next week what we will smoke and why we should be smoking whatever we smoke. <laughs> so join us next week, same time, 7 p.m. Nigerian time, UK time, 2 p.m. East Standard time, 1 p.m. Central Standard time, and 11 a.m. Pacific time. Again, no smoking, no smoking, no. That will be there next week to tell us why we shouldn't smoke because I'm considering it. And no, um, no. see us live on Facebook. You can join us via Zoom. You can join, join us on Facebook. So sit back. We'll go offline now. Then we'll return. We're still on the platform so everybody could have a chat. Thank you guys for Thank joining you. us once again. Love you.